The wrap must be let into from a two-hand hold. We'll forget the feet for a moment and just look at the arm work. The guy keeps hold of the girl's left hand with his right while he does a loop with his left hand up around her head, putting her over here on this side. From this angle, keep hold of this hand and loop with the other hand up around her head. It is important when he loops, that he pulls that hand on the diagonal to make her go over this direction, because he doesn't want her to get wrapped up right in front of him. Putting the footwork with the arm work, the guy also helps make sure that she ends up over on this side, in that on the first slow, as he's doing the wrap, he doesn't go straight to the side, but he goes diagonally forward with his left. Don't turn the toe toward the diagonal. The toe is still forward, but the foot moves diagonal left. On the second slow, he'll bring his right foot over a little bit out of her way, back on the right foot, and then rock and. Notice that while they're in wrap position, they will be doing the basic step forward and back rather than side and side. So forward, back rock and forward, back, rock and. Now, there are three ways to get unwrapped. One, of course, is to simply raise the same hand and unwrap her, slow, rock and. A second way would be for the guy to drop the right hand and just put her out there. Slow, slow, rock and. The gal just turns to face him. But the most fun way is for the guy to drop the left hand. And you'll notice that when that happens, he has his arm across her back with his right hand holding her left on the far side. And that gives him a lot of leverage. He can really whip her out there. So he does a roll out back rock and. So the whole sequence <clears throat> goes like this. Slow, slow, now wrap, wrap, back right, rock and roll out, back right, rock and two hands, slow and hold. 